what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for the black phone now this was such a good time i saw the movie last night i believe it comes out next week um 2022 just continues to be a great year for ethan hawk who in this movie channels one of his most terrifying and unnerving and brilliant performances to date as the grabber who's the film's main villain now i would say and many others have stated this this is considered like a sibling to scott derrickson sinister the black phone centers around finney shaw a kid that is abducted by a killer and locked away in his soundproof basement when all hope seems lost voices of dead victims start communicating to finney through a, through a black phone and they are not going to let finney die like they did so derrickson co-writes the screenplay with c robert cargill and i think these two collaborated uh, on the screenplay for sinister as well together so a lot of this felt very inspired by stephen king and the script strengths are going to be found in this compelling sibling bond between finney and his sister gwen they have a pretty rocky life at home with their i would say mildly abusive alcoholic father uh, but they stick together and it's their interactions early on that reel you into being invested in this in this bond and recognize that they need each other what this then allows is when finney actually disappears his disappearance and survival to the audience becomes more important because you've already established early on that we should have a reason to care about these characters they are very likable and their their bond that sibling bond is something that both siblings really seem to need in an, in a life in which they have this father at home who really just seems to be disconnected there is this of uh, i would say depression that lies in the household because of some other traumatic things that they've all had to deal with the father included so there's dashes of humor sprinkled into the screenplay and that always works most of it's coming from Gwen who I can see being a standout for a lot of people when they watch this movie it has good things for children about friendship and standing up to bullies but the the weakest part of this script I could, I would say for me and maybe many others would agree is that the grabber can feel underdeveloped at times and there are some slight inconsistencies with within the screenplay itself but that's with almost any movie honestly but Despite the grabber being underdeveloped, the mystery surrounding Hawk's character remains a driving force for why he's so scary. So even though the grabber is underdeveloped, it works in favor of how effectively scary the character is. So Finney's arc is also the most intriguing. Most of the film is basically a look at a boy's journey to learning how to fight back when necessary. Admittedly, this subgenre of child horror has projects very similar to the black phone so it's not necessarily breaking new ground or anything but the execution is always everything and the black phone i would say nails a home run as far as like the supernatural element we know is highlighted in the trailer i found it easy to accept but also found it kind of random since most of this movie isn't supernatural it's very much more so grounded in a realistic story so from what i recall there's a plot point that may hint at where these supernatural abilities come from more specifically talking about gwen who has like this claire clairvoyance to her like tangina from poltergeist uh and there's a plot point that kind of explains it but it wasn't necessarily i would say all that necessary to have it so prevalent in the film uh but it, it was mostly it was just there to give her something to do once finney got abducted but performances here are breathtaking ethan hawk again is getting talked about appropriately for all the right reasons but these kids uh mason thames and madeline mcgraw they are very powerful in their roles each shining during the humorous and frightening moments equally some of the visual aesthetic here will definitely be the biggest sinister callbacks for a lot of people you have like that super eight of uh, uh footage type effect that we know we saw in sinister a lot of the camera work helps establish finney's feelings of hopelessness and despair while trapped in this basement and also helps establish tension during some of his attempted escapes and you know scott derrickson what i also can say is from not only the super eight stuff that will be a callback to sinister that that aesthetic and then also the haunting imagery of the of some of these old kid victims again another sinister callback i i can see certain people starting to pick up on certain styles of scott derrickson because i actually went back and watched when i went back and watched the original doctor strange i hadn't realized that he did that movie but then when i had re-watched it more recently to prepare for the multiverse of madness i'm like this is a scott derrickson movie i just took a guess his filmmaking style is starting to become something i can pinpoint and i really like that so each 
Again, each of the kids stars shine during the humorous and the frightening moments. Uh, a lot of great camera work is in the movie. While the black phone may have some predictable outcomes, that doesn't stop it from remaining gripping from start to finish with constant reminders that perhaps you won't get the outcome you think you will because it constantly keeps you on the edge of your seat. So the film doesn't jump into the terror right away. It has a good first half or so of just letting you grow attached to its characters before the danger kicks in. And this was genuinely just an effective horror movie all all together. And I can't wait to see it again. As far as like the scares in it, like there's some jump scares in it. It is so nice to have a horror movie that has jump scares that genuinely feel earned. They're well placed. They're well timed. They I'm not going to say you can't see them coming. It's just that still how it's done it still i can see say was a very effective each time they happened and it doesn't go overboard none of the jump scares get to the point where it's just now a jump scare fest this movie is very much so while something i would say is a child's worst nightmare there's a lot that i could see a young horror fan discovering a movie like this if they're going through a similar situation like finney if let's say this was the first horror movie they discovered I could see this being a good introduction to horror movie for a certain individual, a certain young horror fan down the road when this movie becomes a cult classic, because I think it has the, the chance to become that. Ethan Hawke is just a, he's that good in the role of uh, the grabber. Again, while underdeveloped, I could see becoming an iconic character brought to life, even if it's just for the one time. So I can't wait to see more from Scott Derrickson. I can't wait to watch his movie again. I can't wait to see this sibling dynamic between Finney and Gwen on screen again as well. I do want to round this out by saying that Finney's arc and his growth throughout the movie, it is very just heartwarming to see by the time the movie runs out and he has this inner strength to now stand up for himself. It's all just so well done. And again, it has a lot of good messages for anyone going through something similar to Finney. Uh, to just learn when to stand up when necessary learn when to be violent because violence isn't always necessary but there are certain instances where you have to fight back uh i'm gonna honestly give this movie a eight out of ten i love the black phone can't wait to see it next week again when it comes out if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications never miss a video in the description i have links for social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limit any movies and news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video